How do Christians talk to atheists about God? We're going to talk about that today coming up on the Building Bridges podcast. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Building Bridges podcast. I hope that you will click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell to know when we have new content. Today we're going to talk about how do we talk to people who don't believe in God? Well, I know a little bit about this because at one time I used to be an atheist. I used to not believe in God at all. People ask me a lot, what is it that convinced you to become a Christian? You know, there wasn't a single thing that convinced me. There wasn't an argument that put me in a corner where I had no choice but to believe in God. Where the real change happened was a hungering inside my soul, where at that time I didn't know it was a soul. I just... I was dissatisfied. Nothing seemed to give me long-lasting eternal peace. Over the course of about a year or two, God began to work in my heart, drawing me to him. And just through various circumstances, I gave my life to God, and it fundamentally transformed my life. Today, Christians are really big into apologetics, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with having facts and, and all these things to defend why you believe what you believe, but there's a bigger battle going on than just simply line of reasoning. The Bible says that there is spiritual warfare, that there's these principalities and things going on behind the scenes that keeps people away from God. And it's not just engaging in reasoning and logic. I met a guy one time that told me he had an argument that was so compelling that you had no choice but to get saved after he told you this, this, uh, this, these facts, this, this position that he had. But, you know, I don't think that's true. You can't force somebody into changing. You can guilt somebody, coerce somebody into making an artificial, you know, or, or a superficial change, but you're not going to make a lifelong change deep, transforming change. Only God can do that to a human being. People are disconnected from God, and we're to help them find that connection. Now, I enjoy having conversations with atheists. I've been in a lot of debate forums. I've talked with a lot of people who don't believe in God, and I find two sets of people in this. First off, I find people who are just very smart, very intellectual, and they only believe what they can see, the, 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 the tangible, or what can be you know, deduced to facts and science and things of that nature. And, and add an element of spirituality is just a whole different realm that requires belief, and that's hard for them. But there's also people who are atheists because they're angry, they're hurt, they're wounded. Maybe it's not so much they don't believe in God as much as they're angry at people who say they believe in God, but yet we're ugly to them and hurt them. You know, a church that that wounded them, a pastor that may have said some inappropriate things that shamed them, and they um, don't want to have anything to do with that culture. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't either. So when you're talking to atheists, I'm going to tell you, you can't formulate the perfect argument to convince them to believe in God. You can only explain to them why you believe in God, and you have to allow them room to process that. You can't ram it down somebody's throat. And as Christians, we have to also remember that we live by faith and not by sight. We dedicate our whole lives to someone we've never seen, Jesus Christ, and a being that we've never seen and that we believe in a place that we've never seen. And we believe this book was divinely inspired from this being that we've never seen. It's faith. It's not reason. It's faith. Now, I do believe that science, reasoning, and logic can have some complementary factors for Christians and I think we should have debates and conversations with unbelievers. And I think certain people are equipped better than others for those conversations. 
But if you feel cornered by someone who has all of these questions and you have no clue how to answer it, the best thing you can do for that person is to be praying for them. Praying for God to reveal himself to them. Praying for opportunities that you can just show the compassion and love of Jesus to them. Because these are the things that will make an impact. I have had people in my life that do not believe in God. But when they're going through something, something traumatic happens. I've even had them say, you know, I don't believe in those things. But, you know, I, I know you do. Would you, would you pray for me? There's a bridge being built. There's an opportunity of influence. And you never know what's going on inside somebody. When I was an atheist, I was adamant about being as, as offensive as I could to Christians, mocking them, you know, telling them that, that it's, a, it's just a crutch because they can't deal with reality. Inside, although I said those things, I wondered. I wondered if it was real. I wondered if I had it wrong. I remember when uh, Y2K happened. I was an atheist then. And I remember all these preachers talking about doomsday kinds of things and that, you know, the world was going to end because, you know, it's, it's the year 2000, 2000 years since Christ and all those kinds of things. And I remember being in a bonfire. I remember looking up into the sky thinking, if I see Jesus come through those clouds, I, uh, I'm going to hell. And it was terrifying in that moment to wonder if I was wrong. And even some atheists admit that they can't 100% disprove God just as much as we can't 100% prove God. If you're with someone who doesn't believe in God, don't feel the pressure that you have to prove that God exists. Live out your faith. Be kind. Be gentle. Pray for opportunities. Pray for them. As God's working in their hearts, he may very well open a door and they will come seek you and you'll see a soul saved. So don't get caught up in winning an argument. Get caught up in winning a friend. I am Josh Martin. This is Building Bridges. You guys have a blessed day.